Caleb. That's the way you should play every game. Strong, mentally and physically. Play smart. And you finish strong. Now I want everyone to give a special congratulations to our team MVP, Ms. Kayla Banks. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, what you are witnessing is God's beautiful work in motion, a beautiful display of finesse and blur. Watch out now! Ah. <laughs> Ms. Banks just set a school record for most points and most assists in a single game. Oh, yeah, I, I think I heard something about that. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> I've never seen such skill in all my 25 years of playing and coaching this game. Excellent job, Kayla. No wonder the scouts are on my tail all the time. Thanks, Coach. I'm just doing what I love. One more game. One more game before we go to Nationals. I don't need to tell you that you need to keep up your focus and intensity. I don't know about you. But I want that trophy! Yeah! <laughs> and Kayla, now more than ever, you need to maintain that skill level. Coach, do you really think I would work my entire life towards such a pinnacle point and just when I'm about to touch victory, I would throw it out? Good. That's what I needed to hear. Yeah! yeah. Let's go, Coach! Good job. My office. we got a couple of things we got to go over. Have you made a decision yet as to which team you want to join? You only got about eight more months to decide. I think literally every team wants you. Yes, they finally recognized all this talent. Now they all want it. Yeah, yeah, they do. But there is one issue. What's that? How's your psychology class? Your transcript shows you're not passing and you need this in order to graduate. This is the second time you've taken this class. It's your last chance if you want to graduate, and you have to graduate in order to get drafted. So what's going on? This is the only course I'm having trouble with, and it's completely due to the professor that's teaching it. She has it out for me, coach. Is there anything you can do on your end? I tried, but she's strictly by the book. She says if you don't meet all the requirements of the syllabus you signed at the beginning of the semester, you won't get a passing grade. She's the only professor that will not get on board. She knows what I do around campus. I've got practice, games, rehearsals, tutoring. I don't need all this now. I'll talk to her again and see if I can get her to cut you some slack. Just be ready for the big game next week. I'm always ready, coach. Hey, I thought you were my girl. You already decided? What? No, not yet. They have made a very attractive offer, which I am seriously considering, but no, not yet. But how'd you know? Well, you left your locker open. So, naturally, I took it upon myself to uh, check out those new shoes up there, and that letter conveniently placed right next to them. Oh, so you were snooping? You got me a pair too, right? When have I not looked out for you? <laughs> Look, I was just checking. I want to make sure you don't start acting all brand new like those shoes. You ready to do this? <laughs> Girl, please, I stay ready. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Champagne. Champagne? <laughs> what are you, 60? What? Champagne is for champions. Yeah, if that champion is one of the golden girls that just yelled, bingo. <laughs> no, we're gonna do this right. Wait, 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 I can't get faded. Gotta take Brands to church tomorrow. If I'm late, she gives me more of a mouthful and past her sermon. But relax, okay? The night is still young. 
Thanks. Look, besides, our accomplishments deserve to be acknowledged. You're only young ones. All right, now this one is for my best friend since second grade, Miss MVP. Oh, oh man. Let me get another one. Um, now we're talking. <laughs> sermon comes from Romans chapter 5 verses 3 to 4. Now I know some of you are thinking, wait a minute pastor, that's only two verses. How are you going to give us a, a whole sermon from that? Well, let me tell you. The spirit of our Lord directed me to those two verses last night. Yes, he is. Now I've read this scripture many times over many years, but there was something about these two verses when I read them last night, they nearly jumped off the page. Oh, Lord. Now, I know some of you are still looking at me in disbelief. So I'm going to show you. More than that, we rejoice in our suffering, knowing that suffering brings endurance, and endurance brings character, and character brings hope. Yes, sir. What is suffering? She gotta do a homework, she gotta take a bath, and she gotta eat dinner. 
Mama, just stay out of it. You know, maybe if you would have been a little harder on me, maybe I would have never quit. Think about that, Mama. Come on here, Kayla. Hey, Mrs. Jones. How are you? You still keeping yourself busy? Yes, ma'am. I'm good, baby girl. How are you? I'm fine. A little tired, but you know how it is with such a busy schedule. Mm -hmm. I saw how tired you were just a few minutes ago. Looked like you had yourself a nice little nap during past the service. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't mean to fall asleep. I must be coming down with something. Mm -hmm. No, no, seriously. I've been burning that candle at both ends, what with school, work, practice. It really take a toll on the body. Well, a little hard work never hurt anybody. You just make sure you make time with God. The one who makes all things possible. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, amen, sister. Hey, Sister Banks. <laughs> How are you? Oh, honey, I'm blessed and highly favored. I'd say so. And I can see why, too, with this superstar of a granddaughter you've been blessed with. <laughs> I heard from more than one member of the congregation how unbelievably nice your new furnishings are at your new place. Yes, Pastor told me he came over to bless your new home. Said it had hardwood floors, marble countertops, and beautiful cabinets. <laughs> Everybody ain't able. <laughs> Look like you done real good for your grandkids. Okay? Yeah, we all know how much she's worth. I'm just trying to pay it for it. Don't you think grands don't appreciate it? everything you're doing for them? All I really care about is my baby case happens. Well, it's done now, grands. You can stop worrying. I made it. Oh, baby, you sure have. By the good grace of God. Well, um, if you two ladies will excuse me, um, I see a friend that I'm going to go run in catch up with. Grant, into the car. Hey, David. Well, hello there, stranger. What happened to you last night? What do you mean? Yeah, you said you needed help. You wanted to meet up about your psych. Oh. That's right. Oh, you here. I see why I was so easily forgotten. Seems like you were living large, looking fabulous well, at let me see this. one. So what you need to meet up about the psych anyway? Oh, honestly, it's really just the teacher that's giving me the problem. I'm fine with the subject. I like it. That's why I took it. I was figured, since you were the TA, you'd be able to... Help me out on your end. Let me get down to the wire. Passing this, you're really starting to eat at me. Okay, baby, come on here. But you're flirting with the neighborhood boy. I'm gonna take your grands home. I'm trying to catch my shows now, come on. <laughs> really, grands? Neighborhood boy? <laughs> she called you a neighborhood boy. That's hilarious. I'll see you later, all right? Good morning, Susan. It's Dr. Grigal. I know how busy faculty mornings can be, so I brought you some breakfast. What can I do for you, Mr. Chase? How are things on this side of campus? I don't get over here very much, and it seems what like... What is this about? I need you to give Kayla a break. Mr. Chase, I don't recall you being in my class. And furthermore, I don't recall you being Mrs. Banks' guardian either. I kind of like her guardian. I've been looking out for her best interest for the past four years. Well, since you consider yourself her guardian, I assume you want what's best for her, correct? Of course. So again, why are you still here? Look, Susan. Dr. Gridcock. It's crucial that Kayla not be under any undue stress. I mean, my God, every other professor is on board. I need you to go light on Kayla. Could you please tell me your definition of go light? You know what I mean. Stop assigning all those damn papers. Shouldn't one paper be sufficient? One paper? Yes. Now I know what you're thinking. 
Oh, I hardly believe that. Yeah. You're thinking, all those dumb jocks, always looking for a free pass. But that's not the case here. I don't really care about Kayla. Oh, really? I'm putting my blood, sweat, and tears into her career. There's so much talent in that girl. She's gonna make it all the way to the top. I just know it. And you can see it. We just need to help her out. All that paperwork is overwhelming and unnecessary. You know, if you help me, then I can help you. There must be something you need. Oh, so I can just rub a lamp, huh? My very own personal genie? Seriously, Susan. Anything you need. Anything. I can make it happen. Please, just help us out. I would like to think I am helping Kayla out, Mr. Chase. And furthermore, I would like to think I'm helping out the betterment of our future society as well. When Kayla looks back at her college career, I don't want it to be of just bouncing a ball. I care about my students, and I want them all to reach their full potential. And I don't feel Kayla has taken advantage of her unbelievably fortunate opportunity. Bouncing a ball? If I'm not mistaken, her education while attending this university is a full ride scholarship. And I would like for her to take full advantage of that. Kayla is a very intelligent young lady, but I don't think she realizes it completely. That might be because her involvement is needed by so many other people's own personal agenda. I want Kayla to find out that she's more than just basketball. And the only way she can find that out is by broadening her focus and experiencing alternative enrichment. Oh, please. With the money she's making, she'll be enriched. Believe me. Is this about Kayla or money, Mr. Chase? Don't go there. We both know everything in life is about money. I don't think you realize how much money this athletic department produces for the university. Get with the program, doctor. <laughs> I think we view this conversation from two completely different perspectives, Mr. Chase. Good day. Tomorrow is the big day, and I expect everyone to be, you know what, there's nothing left to say. I've been saying the same thing over and over again all season, and I'm sure I'm sounding like a broken record. But I want you to know that you're the best team I've ever had a pleasure to coach. And I am very proud of each and every one of you. Oh, that's I'm not crying. I'm trying to make a dramatic point. Now come on. Let's get in half. One, two, three. Yes! Woo! Thank you. Hey, Kayla. Saw that full page layout yesterday. So when are you going to show me your recipe? What? Girl, please. I have been pan crafting this recipe my entire life. I'm going to just give away the secret ingredient. Please. This isn't her first newspaper article. My girl, she's been my sous chef throughout it all. Yeah, she's been in the paper since middle school. I guess she's been trying to get a hold of that recipe since the podcast. But why don't you crack jokes once you can get up off that bench? <laughs> I guess y'all will never have that conversation now, will ya? The bye. <laughs> girl, forget those clowns. Are you ready for this game tomorrow? There's a lot of important people going to be in those stands, and you need to be on point. But you don't have to worry about my focus, okay? You haven't had to before, and you don't need to now.
I'm gonna go hang out with Kevin and those guys. You wanna come with? No, no, I can't. I already got phones. Wouldn't be with David now, would it? Nope. I have a meeting with Dr. Drake about it. She's still getting in trouble for missing class? What? What you mean? I mean, it's probably pretty difficult for her to cut you any slack when you don't show up, right? Whatever. But she's just an old crab. Don't let it bother you. What? A crab? Yeah, like a crab in a bucket. I'm still not following. Okay. You have a bunch of crabs in a bucket, right? One climbs to the top, and then one from the bottom will grab that crab and pull it back down. Um, basically, a hammer. Could have just said that. It's a lot easier. Come in. Miss Banks, it was so nice of you to finally come see me. To what do I owe this pleasure? Have a seat. I received your email with instructions to meet with you this afternoon. Oh, so your email is working. Do you realize I've been emailing you throughout this entire semester? Since this is the first time you have responded, it is only natural for me to be surprised. Wouldn't you agree? Dr. Gregor, I uh, wanted to meet with you, make sure I had everything complete. Miss Banks, if you are referring to passing, that is up to you. You need to focus, pay attention, and above all else, attend class. I know, doctor, but... Hold Mark. on. Cut the sad story. I didn't bring my violin today. Do you remember the first day of class when you signed my syllabus? Yes, but that was the last... There are no buts, Miss Banks. It states perfectly clear that attendance makes up 35% of your final grade. And 40% is participation. If you are not in class, you cannot participate. Although, being such a nice person I am, I will give you one more chance to prove yourself worthy of a passing grade. I teach a night class at another university. Wait a minute. I don't have time to go to another university. Excuse me, Miss Banks. Let me finish. I will set up a video conference that will allow you to attend my class via a remote situation. In this folder, there are the dates and times that my class begins. The video conference will be set up on my assistant's computer across the hall. Make sure you are in attendance. Any other additional details and information can be found within the contents of the folder given. And if you have any other questions, you can email me. Especially now that I know your email works. What if I can't make it? Miss Banks, the question should be, what if I don't graduate? Dr. Gregor, you have to realize how I'm already struggling. Without struggle, struggle, there is no progress. Good afternoon, Miss Banks.
Yeah, no thanks to you. Lunch quit high five. Hey, how about you stop running your mouth and start running the ball up the court so your team isn't losing? What the hell's going on out there? What, what do you mean? Coach, we're winning. Winning? What do you mean winning? There is no winning. When the clock stops, one team wins. We are not playing to our potential. The score is way too close. And Kayla, where's your head at? What? What do you mean, what? You had four turnovers in the first quarter alone. Have you forgotten who's sitting in those stands? There are scouts in those seats who have the ability to change your life. Do you realize the power of this opportunity? When we go back out for the second half, we're going to play our game. We're going to make shots and no more turnovers. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Damn it. We're going into the second half as a winning team. Did that amount to anything? Not at 100%, Kay. I've seen better. Is everything okay? Yeah. I'm great. I'm fine. We're winning. You don't seem like it. Are you sure? My God, I'm fine. Come on, let's do this. All right, show them how it's done. Soreness anymore. Kayla, can you sit up for me, please? Okay, here we go. <coughs> breathe in. Now breathe out slow. Good. Breathe in. Now breathe out slowly for me. taking a hard fall. She's very disoriented for the state she's in. Just rest and take it easy, okay? We've started to run some tests. Now, we don't know exactly what caused you to collapse, but we'll find out soon. But right now, I just want you to rest and take it easy. Let me back down to you. Step outside. Seems fine. The only thing I can think of that may have caused her to collapse in the manner that she did is an overabundance of physical exertion, which is brought upon the flu. And she also seems to have a mild heart murmur. Now, I assume this is due to an increase of emotional and physical stress to her body. She has a slight fever. This can also lead to temporary heart murmurs. 
Now, I checked with medical history. There's no evidence of this diagnosis in the file, though. Has she ever had any kind of heart condition before now? Heart murmur? Doctor, I don't even know what that is. Heart murmur is basically the sound that blood creates when blood flows. Now, blood flows to the chambers in the valves of the heart or the blood vessels near the heart. In most cases, these murmurs are relatively harmless. Oh, Doctor. Caleb grew up a very healthy child. I would have known if something was wrong with the heart. So she'll be able to after the right, Doctor? Yes, she should be. But there is one more test on her run called the endocardiogram. Now, that's going to ensure that her murmur was brought on by a high fever for nothing else. So you feel like the flu brought this on? It could be. But like I said, I want to be thorough and make sure. So I've already scheduled an appointment from a week from today. It's going to give enough time for the antibiotics to clear things up with the flu. Okay. Is she free to go? She's still a little disoriented, but she should be released shortly. And then we went? We sure did. 82 to 68. And once you went out, they played harder and with more determination. They had your spirit. Place my position. Cassie, she was on fire. I've never seen her play that way. You should have seen her. She couldn't miss a shot. That's my girl. So yes, I just sent your prescription down to the pharmacy so you were able to pick it up on the way out. And until our next meeting, I want you to rest. You need to kick this food. No practice, no physical activity, nothing. Hiram University is going to nationals after their triumphant win in the state championship game. Their star player, Kayla Banks, took them into the fourth quarter, but it was her teammate, Cassie Johnson, who ignited in the last five minutes of the game, taking the team from a two-point deficit to a 10-point lead, allowing the team the win for the state championship. Yeah, I don't know, Alan. I have never seen Cassie play the way she played in those last four, five minutes of the game. You know, she's been a fairly consistent player throughout the entire season, but it was this game that put her on the radar of all the scouts. And I would bet that from this point on, they're gonna be keeping an eye on her performance from now on. Yeah. Well, speaking of the Hiram Tigers, we have their head coach, John Case, with us. So John, tell us, how does it feel to be the head coach of the state champs? Well, it feels good, but it will feel a lot better after we're national champs. <laughs> Sounds like you're really confident, John. Come on, Alan, look at the stats. We're the best college league in the country. So of course we're bringing the national championship home. Wow, I guess that means I don't have to ask if you're ready or not. We've been ready since the beginning of the season. John, will your MVP, Kayla Banks, will she be playing in the national championship game? That's a good question, Alan. Kayla Banks has dominated the game since her freshman year at HU. She's broken every HU women's basketball record from uh, rebounds, assists, points. She's got a game. I've said this many times before. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with Ms. Banks. She's given her all, given her time, her effort, and her skill all season. Well, it looks like you've answered my question, Coach. Uh, you're speaking in past tense. No, no. Kayla Banks will be playing in the game. Yeah, she needs to, I believe. I'm sure she's going to continue when she started. Okay. Of course. Well, good. We're all looking forward to seeing her wow us in the national championship game. So what's that you got there? I brought you some soup. Have you eaten yet? Nope. I am starving. Cassie called earlier. She said she was going to bring something live a few hours ago. Game? Okay. Would you like roommates or something? Okay, open up. Well, what are you doing? Helping. Isn't that what you needed? More like helping yourself. No, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> so, things have been extremely weird, strange between the two of us since. <sighs> this is really good. Where'd you get this? Home. Oh, you still live at home with your mommy? That's so cute. Of course not. 
I made it myself. You see, you may know your way around the courts, but I know my way around the kitchen. I'm telling you, I got mad skills with that knife. Been all over the sports news lately. Yeah, I'm tired. So tired of it. It's like reliving the whole thing over and over and over. Well, we could always um, make it a movie night. Movie? How long did you plan on staying here? No. Thank you. Listen. Did you have all that stuff when you came in? No, I didn't. What? No, I didn't have all this stuff when I came in. Oh, good, because I could have swore I was. It was already here when I arrived. Well, Miss Bates, we have the results of your endocardiogram. And what's the diagnosis? Well, we found out that your heart murmurs were due to more than just a high fever. Unfortunately, it's due to an underlying cause. Miss Bates, you have a condition called aortic valve regurgitation, or ABR. ABR? What does that mean? I, I feel fine now. Uh, yes. For the time being, you will feel fine. Unfortunately, this is a very serious condition that pertains to your aortic valve. Wait, 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 wait. You must have the wrong chart, doctor. That can't be my chart. I'm fine. I'm healthy. I eat right. How could any of this have happened? Your ABR was caused by your endocarditis. My endo what? You were diagnosed with endocarditis four years ago. See? I told you that wasn't my chart. I've never even heard of that. So how can that be my chart? Clearly, I would know if there was something wrong with something as important as my freaking heart. Well, when I saw the results of your test, I looked into your medical issue. It was hard to find, but it was there. And you were diagnosed as such. You were never informed of this? No. What doctor diagnosed me with this? Dr. Harper, university doctor. Sir, this is the first time I have ever heard anything about this. Is this some sort of a joke? What does any of this mean? Well, since none of this was treated properly initially, the infection
infections damage the lining of the heart. That's what's caused your ABR. It's right here in the file. Okay. Okay. So what's the next? So what's the next step, Doc? Can this be treated with outpatient surgery? Is there some sort of a, a magic pill that can make this all go away? I mean, they, they have pills that can cure everything nowadays, right, Doc? Well, here's the good news, Kayla. You don't need major surgery or pills or anything like that. Luckily, we caught this early enough before it reached a critical point. <laughs> you. You, you really had me worried there, Doc. I mean, you, you, you can't help but worry when the doctor tells you that there's something wrong with one of the most important organs in the body. Well, I thought you would be happy to hear that. But you are going to be seeing a lot more of me, though. And we got to keep an eye on things. We don't want the situation to exacerbate on us. Sure. No problem. No problem there. <laughs> you are doing me a favor, Doc. I mean, really. <laughs> Just wait till I see that university doctor, though. I could pants well, off that well, class. Kayla, you're going to have to make some lifestyle changes also. You cannot smoke. You have to stay away from secondhand smoke. You have to eat right and maintain a healthy body weight. And most importantly, you can't overexert your heart muscles with rigorous physical activity. Okay, no problem. Check, check, and check, check them all. Um, Kayla, I don't think you understand. This means you can't play basketball anymore. This means you can't play basketball anymore. Not professional. Not professional. Not professional. Not professional. Kayla, are you been? I've been looking all over for you. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Look, David, I really can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait, wait a minute. What? Did you enjoy the lecture? Was everything clear? There wasn't any issues with the audio, was there? Nope. Everything was crystal clear. Fantastic. After tonight's lecture, I expect to see your research paper on my desk no later than by the end of the day on Friday. Do you have any other questions pertaining to the assignment? Nope.
I'm really glad you're here. We need to discuss the game. You okay? Am I okay? What's all this attitude about? Attitude? When were you going to tell me about my condition? What condition? My heart condition. It's called endocarditis. Look, that was nothing. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry. It just would have caused aggravation. It could have taken your head out of the game. The game? Is that all I'm worth to you? Of course not, Kayla. Look, I spoke to the university doctor. He said it's a common condition that would eventually go away. It's not life-threatening. Bottom line, do you want to play ball? I've done everything in my power to keep you on top. But if you want to quit now, then go ahead and do it. There are plenty of other athletes who would die to be in your shoes. Do you realize that's exactly what would have happened? Think about it, Kayla. Look how much your life has changed in the past few years. Where do you think all the shoes, the clothes, the cars, the plush apartments came from? You think they just magically appeared? I made that happen. Now do you want to play ball? Of course I want to play ball. That's all I've ever wanted to do. Then let's play ball. We can discuss all this later. But right now, we need to clear our minds and focus on the national championship game. I can't play in the national game, coach. What'd you say? Who told you that? Dr. Monroe. Okay, but we've got everything riding on this game. Your future depends on this game. All those scouts who were at the last game to see you play and run the court, well, they'll be at this game. You have to redeem yourself. You can't quit now. Coach, you don't understand. Dr. Monroe says it's so hey, bad. I'll take care of him. I'll take care of everything. You just get ready for the game. So go. Relax. I'll take care of you. Trust you. God. I need you. More than ever in my life. You know my heart. What it's capable of. And What's wrong with it? I love this game so passionately with that heart. It's all I've ever known to trust it. I don't know how to do anything else. This is what you put me on this earth to do. What do now? If I die, at least I die doing what I love, right? Do you mind if I play? You, where'd you come from? Why do you keep popping up? You are. Look, I don't know where you come from or even why, but I am really not in the mood to play right now. You know, I remember when you and your mom used to play out here for hours. I am really not in the mood for company right now. So please, leave. I'm just happy you're finally speaking. I mean, we must have bumped into each other at least a thousand times by now. She finally talks to me and tells me to leave. Just my luck. Sir. Okay. Okay. Perhaps later. Oh, Miss Banks, this is a surprise. Are you okay? Here's the flash. 
uh, Miss Banks, I know it's been a while for you, but my class doesn't start for another hour and a half. Oh, and just because you're here today, that doesn't excuse you from the video class. That's fine. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Just want to get this class over with so I can graduate. Oh, well, that's the spirit. Is your attendance like this in all your classes, or am I just the lucky one? I see. Well, my class doesn't start for another hour. Are you hungry? Maybe you can go grab a bite to eat. Fine. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to leave you for a moment. I forgot a couple things back at the office. Well, looky who's here. Don't tell me you're in this class, too. I guess we're both early, huh? You know, I never told you my name. I know yours, so I guess it's only fitting for you to know mine. Hi, my name's Christian. Yeah, I know who you are. So you think? No, I know who you are. You might think you know. You can know a person for years and not really know. You can't trust anything or anyone. That's not true. You can trust God. God? Do you really believe in God? Of course I do. Don't you? I used to believe in God. You know what? Let me tell you about God. I asked for God to heal me so I could live out my dream, my purpose. He never answered my prayer. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. I guess I have not because God is not. Do you really believe that? I mean, you have felt what he's capable of your whole life. Why do you think all of a sudden he would just stop delivering your faith? Just because it doesn't happen according to our schedule doesn't mean it isn't going to happen at all. I believe you can't trust anyone but yourself. People just let you down. Yeah, God might let you fall, but falling is good. It allows you to start over. Do you want God to trust you? Or are you trusting God? Just remember this, if God leads you to the edge of a cliff, trust him fully and let go. He will either catch you or teach you to fly. I want you to know something, Kay. Most people, they give up just when they're about to achieve success. But always finish what you start. No matter what's going on between the first and the fourth place. You understand me?
Here's the latest, Kayla, and this isn't going to be easy, but I can't sugarcoat this. We have a problem. Last time I checked, I'm the only one with the problem. Just listen. All the pros have lost interest in you. I don't know how word spread so quickly, but I'm afraid it's all over. We've lost everything. We? That's not all. And I did everything in my power to avoid this. But the university has instructed me to inform you that you can't play in the championship game. They say you're a liability. Even though it's your last game, they have legitimate concerns. Since word got out, I've received numerous calls and emails from the pros withdrawing all your offers. And the university is canceling all your perks. What perks? The clothes, the shoes, the apartment, they're all gone. What about grants? I'm sorry. The lease was month to month, and they're not renewing the lease. There is some good news, though. Your education is still being fully paid for. What's up? Uh, just finishing. Where you been? I didn't tell you? Tell me. Tell me what? I haven't heard from you in weeks. Really? Really. I, uh, have my own place now. Coach set it up a few days ago. Are you sure he didn't tell you? Why would he tell me, Cassie? You're my roommate. He thought it'd be a good idea. So there's not any confusion. Confusion? Why would there be any confusion? Look, it's, it's not my fault you got hurt, Kay. None of us expected you to have a heart condition. How'd you know about that? See, I know it wasn't from me because you haven't been here or stopped to see how I was doing since I fell out on that court. Coach told me. He thinks that I should take your place since I'm showing up on everybody's radar now. So when Coach told you about what happened and about my condition, you didn't think to stop and check in on me? I didn't want to bother you. I figured you needed your rest. Bother me? Cassie, you're supposed to be my best friend. We've been best friends since we can remember. Look, I don't need this right now, okay? I have, I have nationals tomorrow, and I don't need this extra stress. I'll get the rest of my stuff next week. Oh, Miss Banks. You didn't get my email? The video conference was canceled due to prior engagements. I am glad I caught you, though. How have you been lately? I'm fine. You don't seem fine. I've been going through some things. Just trying to regroup. I understand. If you ever need anything, I'm always here whenever you need me. Okay. Thanks. Actually, I am in need of a favor from you. You think you can help me out? Depends on what it is. It's something that will take your mind off of whatever is troubling you. Okay. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. She chips the shot. Oh, and the shot is good. The rival has the ball, but not for long. Kayla takes the steal. She makes her way towards the goal. Good. Not for long. 
from out of nowhere. Christian, a new rookie prospect from down south, reaches for the steal, and it's all Christian from here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen such a skillful steal in all my days announcing this game. It's laying it on pretty thick, don't you think? I thought you'd be a Nationals by now. Huh. So did I. So, uh, how are you dealing with everything? I'm not sure. Everything seemed to be moving so fast, one minute. Like a blur. Then the next, everything's standing completely still. I guess that sounds pretty crazy, right? No, that's not crazy at all. Well, what can you do? I guess I'm gonna be dead end. End of the road for Caleb. <laughs> end of the road. You know, most of the time when people think that they've reached the end, it's actually just a new beginning. Now I know what your major is. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say about going and watching the game? Mm, I don't really feel like being around people right now. That's okay. Me neither. How did you get a key to Greg Gar's conference room? Let's just say. I'm connected. Hmm. H.U. making it happen. Come on, girls. Let's do this. There you go, Cassie. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's my girl. Mm. Looks like your friend played pretty good. <laughs> pretty good? She played real good. And you know... I recently found out she is not my friend anymore. You know, I wouldn't dismiss anything yet. You never know how these things will end up. How's Grant's? She's doing pretty good. Back in the old house. I hope she's happy about that. I bet she's much happier. I mean, all those amenities were nice, but you and I both know she doesn't care about that stuff. Yeah. I don't feel happy. Didn't matter if she liked it. All those things were proof of my hard work. It was tangible evidence that I made. Okay. Grands loves you. She doesn't care about those material things. Wow. Could you imagine we'd be where we are now, a few years ago? I guess you never know where life's gonna take you. You better watch out for Coach. We all know what he's out for. I could have told you that a long time ago. I've had the inside look at being Kayla for quite some time now. Yeah, it's been a wild ride with him. Even I saw that. It's easy to get blinded when you get everything you want. The people that really care are still here. Now's the time that you have to separate the weeds from the wheat. Are you taking those biblical courses too? Weeds from the wheat? Where did you get that? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Wait, biblical courses? No, I heard that off a commercial. Uh, it's it's this guy, Christian, he keeps popping up. Uh-huh. Wait, hold on. So I've been gone for a few weeks, and you already have another guy. <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. 
he's a biblical studies major and he keeps popping up at the craziest time and all over the place too. Like he's following you? No, no, he's a really nice guy. He's smart, seems wise. I've seen him around you know, a few times but never really spoken to him until recently. He's in Dr. Gerdgar's class with me. He's given me some really empowering spiritual advice. He's probably working on his dissertation for his master's program. And you have become his case study. No, really. MVP basketball star, hindered by heart condition, but renewed by God. All foolishness aside, how do you feel, like, on the inside? I haven't really gotten a chance to ask you. I don't know. I feel different. But day by day, you know, I feel better. The load is starting to lift. It still hurts and it feels strange, but I have hope now. Look, whether you're on the bottom of the mountain, the top of the mountain, climbing up or falling down, I'm here. Hello there, Miss Banks. How are you? Well, would you look at that? That is something. And it only took you a couple years, too. Now, I have one more thing for you to do. What? You said this would be the last thing. Don't worry. I think this is something you'll truly enjoy. This will be the last thing, I promise. Just meet me here tomorrow afternoon, okay? Trust me. What is all this? I think you need this. It keeps my feet planted firmly to the ground. I would have never thought. Yeah, my son did this for years. And I saw how much it meant to him. So I kind of took his place. Okay, guys, over here. I have somebody I want you to meet. Come on, get over here, Stephanie. Quit that. Now, this is going to be your new coach. I thought I was just helping you out. You are. Coach K knows the game a lot better than I do. Good, now we can win the game. Don't interrupt. Yes, I think we will win a game now. Somebody check a resume. Wow. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh, she's already quitting. OK, guys, simmer down. Kayla was the best player at the school where I teach. So why is she here? Hey! Looks like we're doing a lot of talking. Maybe we need to spend less time running our mouths and more time running up and down that court. I need everybody to get over to the free throw line. Let's move it! Go, go, let's hustle! Go, 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 go! Whatever you're doing, whatever. They don't know where the free throw line is. What? That's not it? <laughs> hey. Haven't seen you in a while. I've been around. So you ready to lose this game? Please. Don't let the sickness fool you. I'm still nice. You're in good spirits. I like the new you. Yeah. I'm reading up on your biblical studies books in the library. I figure I need to embrace what happened. I've realized all I need is already inside me. Everything I've been through so far has proved that. The cake needs heat to rise, doesn't it? There's no story without conflict, huh? Exactly. Can't believe you're leaving. I can't believe you're graduating. Yeah. I've been working pretty hard these last few weeks. I've noticed. I'm very proud of you, Kayla. You know, I never thought I would hear those words coming from you. You know what? 
The only reason I came here was to be close to my son. He's been gone three years now. I think it's time for me to move on. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that about your son. He was a big man on campus. Sort of like you. Like I was. If you don't mind my asking, what happened? He collapsed on the baseball field and didn't make it through. His heart gave out on him. How does a 21-year-old heart give out? I can't help but wonder if I was caught up in the hype and excitement too much and not paying enough close attention to him. Yeah, I didn't think you knew him. Let's see, you would have just been a freshman when all this happened. And through all this I've learned, when God leads you to the edge of a cliff, trust him fully and let go. He will either catch you or teach you to fly. Foster. These girls have such great potential. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I think you're going to make a wonderful addition to our team, Miss Banks. Welcome aboard. tell you this. Coach Banks ain't raising no quitters. Quitter never wins, and a winner never quits. <laughs> 